What's up YouTube, it's Ryan here, or also known as Tayrin, and today I'm going to be going over the different positions that you can have in boot camp. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first position, the highest ranking position is RPOC, that's a Recruit Chief Petty Officer, that's basically where you are the leader of the entire division, um, so you will say you tell people to do certain stuff and all that. Um, and yeah, you're basically the leader. You'll be calling commands while marching. Um, but yeah, you basically are right under the, your RDC is telling your division what to do and so on and so forth. Um, the next underneath that is AROC. So AROC is the person that calls cadence. So if you're not good at singing, <laughs> don't do it. So yeah, you sing while marching. Um, you'll call your road guards in and all that while marching. Um, you help your RPOC with uh, muster or attendance essentially. Um, and yeah, you're basically the right hand man to your uh, RPOC. So underneath that, we have MA or Master at Arms. So that's basically um, like the police of the division. Or you're basically trying to keep everybody in your division um, from not doing anything stupid. <laughs> it's kind of hard. Um, I know RMA hated it and he, his actual rate was MA, but um, from what he said, it's nothing like um, MA school and all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, basically you're just trying to make sure everybody's doing the right thing, not doing anything crazy. So, and then the, the fourth one, the fourth biggest one is the Yeoman. So the Yeoman does all the paperwork for mustards, um, they have to go to the quarter deck and do all kinds of stuff. They basically do the paperwork for people going in and out of the compartment um, and keeping track of where everybody's at. So the yeoman, there's three. You got the main one, you got a dental one, and you got a medical one. So yeah, so those yeomans will basically run to dental or medical, see if anybody has appointments or anything like that, and then return back and give that information to the yeoman. Um, and if you're going to like sick call, like if you're injured or something like that, you have to let your yeoman know. So then they can mark you down and do all that piece of work. And then the other um, leadership roles, we have laundry PO. So basically you're just in charge of doing laundry. Um, our laundry PO actually got a, um, a promotion during boot camp. I'm actually kind of pissed. <laughs> um, he didn't do that good of a job. I mean, it's basically, if your RDCs think you're doing something great or right, you're going to be awarded for it. It kind of sucked because he didn't do a good job. <laughs> um, he literally just rinsed and spinned our socks, so they were never, like, clean, clean. <laughs> so, I mean, and he got a promotion. But uh, but since he's a undes, he probably needs it more than I do <laughs> or anything like that. Um, but, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to roast our uh, laundry PO for that one. Um, the next one is a uh, head PO. So basically just taking care of the bathroom or the shower room and all that stuff, making sure that's all in um, spick and span, all looks nice. Um, for laundry and uh, head, head PO, you will have a um, group of people that will help you with that. So it's not just yourself. You're basically just going to be uh, tasking people in your group to be doing that. Um, and then forward hold. <laughs> we had a forward hold commander. Um, he's actually pretty cool. Um, but yeah, basically, they're just in charge of like the cleaning closet. <laughs> they basically make sure everything's labeled, everything's put away properly, everything looks nice and clean. Um, he also got a promotion. Um, he did not have the best military bearing, I'll tell you that much, but I think he did good at his job. Um, the next one are section leaders. So there's six sections leaders total. So basically um, you're assigned like a specific section in your compartment or your housing, essentially your barracks, whatever you want to call it. Um, so yeah, basically you're tasked to make sure everything's organized specifically to um, your, what your RDC is instructed to do. So making sure everything's labeled, everything's folded properly, everything's stored away properly. It's a very tedious job. <laughs> I remember um, 
our section leaders actually got beat several times for um, their sections being all screwed up and not folded properly. That was that was uh, that was kind of funny. Thankfully, I was not section leader. <laughs> I know that one of our section leaders, um, he did not want to beat it. He was kind of given the job because one guy was trying to uh, get sept, but he actually managed to stay with us. So. The next one is DC, or DC Control Petty Officer. Basically, that Petty Officer, or that um, recruit, whatever, um, he basically goes and takes notes of all the different like damages in the room or compartment, whatever, there's like anything that needs to be fixed or anything, that's what they're gonna be doing. They'll write it down on a list, they'll show the Petty Officers or your RDCs, um, the issues and all that and just to make sure everything is up to code and so you won't get um, hit for that kind of stuff. And then we had a weapons PO or trans for turnovers and all that which um, during quarantine or cor sorry corona season <laughs> we actually didn't really need him he just got a war badge <laughs> which I guess that's kind of cool he had a badge for doing absolutely nothing. Um, yeah, they basically just make sure the weapons are in are in good condition for turnovers and all that kind of stuff. Um, we had Port Watch and Starboard Watch. So Port Watch, they maintain the ship watch bill, so the building's watch bill. So um, people in your compartment, um, they'll put you down on a list for doing watches on the quarter deck. There's three different watches. Um, there's the JOD, the junior officer of the deck. There's M-O-W, and then there's, um, I forgot what the other one was. Um, if somebody else knows, uh, write it down in the comments. I don't remember off the top of my head. But yeah, they basically um, just do the watch bill for the entire building. Um, our um, port watch was actually really good. He liked his job. And then starboard watch, <laughs> this man got beat. He hated his job. So basically, um, starboard watch, he does the compartment um, watch bill so people that are going to be standing watch while you're in boot camp he's going to be assigning you those watches and all that kind of stuff and you have to maintain the deck log that was that was uh, terrible I feel bad for our, our port watch we had to wake him up at like three o'clock midnight because people kept screwing up the deck log it's not that hard but some people just don't remember the fine details I sucked at it I, I feel bad <laughs> but he got chewed out by our RDCs so much um, for it. And then APOs, um, there's two APOs usually. They basically um, lead your division in um, training, PT, and all that. So APOs, Athletic Petty Officers, they'll check you into the gym there. Um, yeah, they essentially just only lead um, uh, physical training and all that kind of stuff and one of our APOs actually got promotion so he, he was actually pretty cool and then male PO male PO um, so male PO that's basically you run and grab the mail for the entire division um, you do have to pass a test for it I know five people took the test and then only one passed the sorry blame my last as you'll probably hear and sorry about that um, but uh, yeah the um, you had five people take the test, one passed. There was another one that really wanted, that thought about doing it. He went down to take the test and then he was like, ah, screw it. So he just failed out. But mail PO, it's not that bad. You just grab the mail and give it out to people or your RDCs will do it. But yeah, that's all of the leadership roles in um, boot camp. If you guys need any clarification, um, let me know. But yes, that is it. Oh, one, one last thing. Okay, sorry about that guys. But um, since you guys are gonna be taking leadership roles, um, you will be actually having a, I don't know if that's in focus, but you'll actually have a little uh, petty officer badge or a chief petty officer for RPOC. Um, but yes, you can lose the position if you're that bad. I know through P days usually or early, early weeks, like one tack and all that, um, you will not have a defined RPOC or a AROC maybe the other positions as well. But yeah, so make sure you're good at your job and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, have you guys enjoyed?
and I'll see you guys later. Peace.